I will lie in wait for them in thy straight path. So this is the crux of the problem. You are reading how to eat to live. You know the right foods to eat, and you go and you select what you think are the right foods. But the enemy has already uh, understood that you're trying to take away with the messenger, that you're trying to get yourself together, that you're trying to make yourself uh, natural and whole and original again. And so he's already doctored up the food chain so that when you buy what you think are the right foods, the vitamins and the proteins and the other ingredients that really make it a whole food and a beneficial food have already been robbed from it. And so therefore you end up being deficient yourself. And then you pass that down through the generations. Next slide, please. This is a quote from Dr. Royal Lee, one of the great nutritional scientists uh, in America. The biggest fraud in connection with food is the sale of devitalized nutrition that aggravates every degenerative disease. Look at what's taking place in the country. Diabetes, asthma, arthritis, Alzheimer's, attention deficit disorder, all kinds of degeneration taking place among the population. People with chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, all kinds of things that they're complaining about, almost all of it is due to devitalized food being sold. Next slide, please. Now this is uh, from the vi videotape that we didn't have a time to see, but I'll just go through it very quickly. Dr. Pottinger was a doctor that worked in the 30s and the 40s. He did a series of experiments with cats. 900 cats over about a 10-year period of time. And what he did, he compared cats who were fed a raw meat diet and a raw milk diet with other cats that were fed pasteurized milk, condensed milk, evaporated milk, and cooked meat. And what he noticed in the first generation of those cats that they had decreased coordination. You know the old expression that a cat always lands on his feet? Not on this diet. Decreased activity, they became lazy, very inactive. All they wanted to do was sleep. They developed tooth decay, gum disease, gingivitis. Teeth started becoming loose and fell out. They had poor self-defense, that they could not defend themselves from the attacks of other cats. They, become, they, they became less uh, able to survive. Impaired balance. Some of them developed hyperactivity syndrome, and this is in the 30s and 40s before human beings ever had hyperactivity, but these cats in this experiment, they became hyper, just like your children. And, and the fur became dull and lifeless looking, the loss of sheen. Next slide, please. Now that was the first generation of these cats. Then these cats had offspring, and they were continued on the same cooked food diet, which is not the natural diet for cats. In the second generation, there was a decrease in body weight, poor facial development, and a smaller skull, which means that they had a smaller brain the bones started to get washed out. So the calcium content went down from 17%, which is normal in cats, down to about 10%, and reversed sexual characteristics. This means that female cats started looking like male cats, and male cats started looking like female cats, and they developed sexual perversities. So they began to see cats who were homosexuals just from the diet and the reproduction capacity started to decline next slide please by the third generation there were severe developmental defects cleft palates all kinds of uh, sinus problems nasal problems skull problems a lack of development of vital structures. The skull become, became very flat. The cats became less intelligent. 
The bone calcium now has dropped down to 3%, started at 17%. Now these cats had bones that were so weak that they, they fractured everything. Fractured spines, fractured limbs. They were unable to actually be active because the minute they tried to move or do something, something would break. They exhibited extreme exhaustion. They did not want to do anything. They did not want to exercise. They did not want to do the things that normal cats would like to do. They had no energy. They developed asthma for the first time in history. Cats who were never known to ever be plagued with asthma, these cats developed asthma and severe allergies to ordinary things in the environment. And they lost interest in sex for the most part. And those who did manage to mate either had spontaneous miscarriages and abortions, or they gave birth to stillborn. And so that's why it didn't go to the fourth generation, because this third generation was the end of the line. They had degenerated to the point that they could no longer reproduce themselves. So this was cats in the 30s and the 40s. Dr. Pottinger and Dr. Royal Lee said that the same thing is going to occur in the human population, and that by the end of the 20th century, if people continue to eat devitalized foods, processed foods, the same thing that you see in these cats, you're gonna start seeing in the human population. Next slide, please. So, what do we have today? Pottinger humans. We are experiencing the, the devastating consequences of eating devitalized food. Compare what you see among your friends, your family, among people that you know, just the general population, walking up and down the streets, the things that you hear about in the news that people are suffering from nowadays, and compare it to the experiment that Dr. Pottinger did with cats who fed them the wrong food. Next slide. See, are you one of these? Is this your profile? Next, next slide. So which generation of Pottinger's cats are you? See, and the way to calculate that is think back in your own family tree. When is the last relative in your family that actually lived on real food? That actually ate real vegetables, that maybe they grew themselves, drank real milk, ate real meat, ate real fruit, didn't live in fast food restaurants or buy uh, industrialized food out of supermarkets, when is the last person in your family that's an ancestor of yours to eat real food? And if it's one generation or two generations or three generations, then that's how far down the line of degeneration you are. Are you listening to me? 